You were probably unaware uh, of this little sort of fringe uh, celebration that's going on right now. But, it, you know, in case you missed it, it's Pride Month. Yes, Pride Month. The time when every major institution throughout the entire West bombards you with radical sexual ideology that contends that there's a whole group of oppressed people and we've got to, you know, support them. They're so oppressed that every major company in the entire world is defending the most radical extremes of pride ideology. So to celebrate Pride Month, we have to celebrate. We have to have pride. We will be going through the wokest pride commercials. We'll be ranking them. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Blinkist, which brings you knowledge from top nonfiction and podcasts so you can learn anytime, anywhere, when even you only have a few minutes of time. More from them later. First, got to get ready. This is the liturgical event of the year in the liberal liturgical calendar. Let's check out the Pride commercials. Today is going to be the day that they're going to throw it back to you. Okay, it's foreign, so I'm going to... Hmm. Is this maybe a foreign company? What you gotta do. <laughs> I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you. So the idea is that the little girl, the like five-year-old, was a lesbian. Yeah. Now the dad's really angry. <laughs> You're gonna be the one. Oh, and then the woman gets married, but she's a lesbian. She shouldn't have gotten married. And then she leaves her husband to be with a girl. To be with this, and they have also now, I guess, have a sort of daughter somehow. Oh, it's it's a, the Renault. Okay, I, I want at least some credit that it is a French company. I'm glad that it's foreign. At least I couldn't have guessed that it was a car. <laughs> I was like, what is the, they're on the beach and there's, because it's French, obviously there's a lot of just gratuitous like kissing and stuff like that. One minute they're kissing a woman's hand, the next they're chopping off her head. That's not just a lesbian thing. That's just true of, of all French brands. So that's a car. If you, if you want to leave your husband for a woman and then have a daughter somehow, the only way to do it in style is driving a Renault. Okay, next one. Pretty riveting content. Wow. Okay, it's so, uh, maybe a pho photographic sort of company. Just let go of whatever you think you know. We've been on this earth for a blink of an eye. <laughs> How could we expect to understand everything? Uh, through the wisdom of the ages that you just let go of? Through like tradition and, uh, and books? And identity is not static. Uh oh. So much can be broken down and dissolved. It's so beautiful when things get rebuilt. Okay, it's a photo thing, I guess. Like Kodak? I don't know. Does Kodak even it still exist? Magic. <laughs> Full stop. It's amazing growing up in this generation. Everything is so fluid. Yeah, it's got to be a photo thing, right? There is history, but at the same time, there's also creating history. I'm doing this even if I don't get to enjoy Or is it like this. Levi's? The only thing is I'm seeing like a photo it's thing and like generation. jean jackets. Being able to see all of these amazing people who have been themselves in a world that's so not accepting really inspires. It's so not accepting exactly. that every major company is pushing this stuff for an entire month. Yeah, it's very not accepting. My liberation is wrapped up in your liberation. You think you're free? Well, you're not until I am. Uh, yeah, increasingly, I think I'm not free <laughs> in this, in this polity. So that we can open ourselves up. You're not free until we trans the kids, right? Okay. In better relationship with each other. We, us. Did you just assume our pronouns? Maybe I identify as she, they. I mean, I don't know. It's like a, f it is Levi. No way. Oh my gosh. I want credit for that. Even though I know I was pushing the, the photo thing a long time, but I just, something about that jean jacket. I was like, okay, 
that, the only other thing I've got is like Levi Strauss jeans. Wow. Okay, that's good. I'm, I'm glad that I got that one. False. We've gone from, you know, when I thought of Levi's, I'd think of like the Marlboro Man or John Wayne or somebody, you know, on the back of a horse, I'm just like talking like a really, like a man, you know, and then, but now it's quite the opposite of that. I wonder if the village people were kind of the turning point. Because you had like the really manly, like the Marlboro man or something. Then you got the village people kind of appropriate the jean jacket. And then now we're transing the kids. The heroes. Okay. That may, I love also this idea to say, look, let go of everything you think you know. We've been here for a blink of an eye. How do you think that you can just come up with everything? And, and like that is the most conservative argument I've heard. And not They don't have a conservative conclusion. But yeah, the argument is right. Everything that you've just made up in your own head is probably BS. And actually, it might behoove you to look at past generations and what other smarter people have thought and written in the past to know that, no, you're not, a man can't just become a woman, actually. I know that you might think that because we live in a really weird time where jeans companies are pushing this insane ideology, but you can't. It's not possible. And here are many reasons why. You can read uh, wonderful philosophers on this topic. You can, you can look at the philosophies and the heresies going back thousands of years, or you can watch a jeans commercial. D- does it happen to you? that you just don't have time to read? Like all of these crazy woke people, you just don't have time to read those books. Well, instead of having to find the time to read a whole book, always this and that and the other thing, what if I told you you can listen to all the highlights in just 15 minutes? Blinkist, this amazing way to consume this kind of content, saves you time, saves you money, allows you to learn new things faster than ever. Blinkist brings you knowledge from top nonfiction and podcasts so that you can learn anytime anywhere. Blinkist has the best insights from over 4,500 nonfiction books. I've got it right here, actually. I've got it on my phone. It's incredible because there's some books where I just, I'm going to want to go right into the book and just read the whole thing right away. But there's some books where I just kind of want the highlights, right? So this one pops up. Steve Jobs, the Walter Isaacson biography. I don't think I'm ever going to take the time to go through the whole thing, but I do, I I do want to catch something of it. Oh, cool. 19 minutes. I can listen to that in 19 minutes right now the first 100 people to go to Blinkist.com slash Knowles are going to get unlimited access for one week to try it out. And if books are only 19 minutes there, you can get through a lot of books in one week. You'll also get 25% off if you want the full membership. The seven-day trial is completely free. You can cancel at any time during that period. Go check out Blinkist. All right. I'm glad. Wow. Guess the Levi's. I'm batting. I'm not, I I would say we're like batting about 700 now. I'm going to give myself portions of both of these. No, you ain't. What's up next? Over 500 years ago, a navigator led three ships across the ocean manned with the toughest crews. Three months after setting sail, they came to an island. This discovery brought about the clash of two entire civilizations and provoked what would become the greatest cultural conflict in the history of humanity. Hey, in your eyes it's sad to say it's not the first time I guess that we all have our own scars From the battles that we've known The battles we come from But is that all you know? I'm gonna say it's like a deodorant commercial. Why? I don't, I couldn't tell you. Why don't you keep your love bloody loud? Show me your name. Is this about to become a gay thing? This is definitely about to become a gay thing, isn't it? Show me your love. Show me your love. Show me your this is now, it's kind of like uh, sacrilegious, too. And now the sailors are like really into this. Yeah. Are they, you know, there's an apocryphal Churchill quote that says that naval tradition is nothing but rum, sodomy, and the lash. Now are they all going to do it? Ugh. Just a giant gay island orgy uh, with the flag, the uh, flag of liberal imperialism, <laughs> also known as the rainbow flag. Oh, that's it. Is that a chick? Oh, okay. Well. Show me your, show me your it's like, yes, do you know what can bring together these warring tribes? Pure hedonism. <laughs> he has Bacchanalian orgies. <laughs> that's what will do it. I have, I have no, I can't, I have no idea what this is selling, other than, or, <laughs> it's a hotel group, we're hetero-friendly, 
So you see, because it's... Oh, gosh. A A Axel Hotels promotes worldwide love and respect. All, now also in America. I, yeah, so, of course, it's in Miami. <laughs> yeah, the, this hotel group promotes um, actual orgies, which is what we just saw. That's how we'll all come together. Really kind of sacrilegious stuff, too, because you see there's the handling of the crucifix during this and then the, the release of the white dove, which is a, a symbol of the Holy Spirit. But they're kind of flipping that on its head. A really uh, creepy stuff. Because, you know, look, I've been to a lot of pretty crazy parties in my life, you know, some in hotels even. And uh, I've never found that hotel groups really encouraged, like, ragers and orgies. I don't, that's not usually something, sometimes well, I'll get a noise complaint if I'm like watching TV too loudly. So that's quite a switch. I guess we're seeing a lot of inversions uh, this year. All right, Axel Hotel Group. If you want to get up to, get up to that stuff, you know, then uh, <laughs> that's, that's the place to go, I guess. I just find, the whole idea is like we promote peace and love and joy. I find when you go to like, forget, even take the sex stuff out. When you go to just crazy ragers, like wild parties with lots of people doing lots of, is, do you find that's conducive to like love and peace? Or do you find, I don't know, to me those get a little, little, little wild, a little sometimes ugly. I, who knows? Maybe, look, maybe I'm just a phobe. Maybe I got to take a stay at the Axel Hotel. I don't think my wife would like that. Uh, please post your other Pride Month commercials in the comment section. We'll see you next time.